out really bad. Don't judge me. So, working on earrings. Um, let me show you what happened with them. So these are my spoopy season uh, earrings. And I tried to use some 3D pieces, like some nail art pieces that I got. These here. To do like a little embellishment on them. But the resin... Like, once the resin is on, they don't capture the light as well as they did without it there. You see what I mean? So, what I figured is these flatter pieces seem to look a much better. They capture the light really nicely. See these um, stars here? Oop. The flatter stars capture the light just fine and they look really nice and then the flat moons look good. So what I'm going to do is flatten the 3D pieces that I have, which is what you're seeing here, and I'm going to lay them on top because I'm double coating all of the earrings anyway. And um, it'll also give it this kind of cool 3D effect because there's already pieces underneath. So hopefully that works out. and. Um, these will be a big hit. These are commissions. Those are commissions. A couple of these are actually commissions, but um, yeah. So what I did is I went to Michael's and I bought a steel block because um, I'm pretty sure it's how you're supposed to work metal. Like if you're flattening a piece of metal wire or something, you use a steel block. So. Um, that's gonna help move the process along. I got this cute little hammer too. Hopefully this is enough. The other thing I need to work on this weekend is the championship belt for Khalil's costume. <laughs> I don't know if we've talked about Khalil's costume. Stone Cold Poof Austin. <laughs> so I am... Um, our friend AJ sent him a goodie box that included a stone cold replica vest. So um, we're getting him a bald cap <laughs> and he's going to be stone cold Steve Austin for Halloween. And I'm just going to be witchy. I have a dress and I ordered some nails and some eyelashes. Ooh. Do you guys like my new glasses? These are my spoopy season glasses. I specifically, well, I didn't buy them for Halloween. I bought them for fall. Cause I was like, I wanna have something I can change my look up with. But they ended up being like really spoopy and they match my hair. Super cute. cute. What are y'all doing? My cats being m mischievous. Mischievous! <laughs> okay, so I have a crap load of flattening I have to do. Oh, that's his champ. That's his championship belt. I need to go to. The <laughs> Why am I not thinking about these things while we're out? I need to go to the dollar store to get a second poster board mm -hmm. so that I can do all the embellishments. Where'd you get this one? We went to. Was it Dollar Tree? Dollar Tree? It was Dollar Tree. We can go to Family Dollar. Okay. Okay, flattening. finishing the earrings because I'm posting them today 
and then I'm also posting the giveaway information for hitting 1k on Instagram. I hit 1k on Instagram. It's fucking crazy. Um, I still need to work on the belt. So I need to get to the dollar store. Maybe I'll go today um, so that I can get the other piece that I need so I can work on it. And still pending on those other <laughs> projects that I wanted to work on. So we'll see how much I get done today. Um, some of it may have to work, wait until the week end of, sorry. Some of them may have to work, wait. <laughs> some of them may have to wait until next weekend. Um, oh! That's the other thing. I might be participating in a outdoors, COVID-friendly art market. It's supposed to be on this Saturday. I haven't gotten all the full details yet, but as soon as I do, obviously I'm gonna post them. But just like a little opportunity to sell some stuff. I have a lot of inventory right now. I um, have plenty of magnets and uh, lots of earrings. So I'm going to bring those, I'll bring my remaining Black Lives Matter pins. And actually, um, because the Black Lives Matter pins haven't sold out, I haven't submitted my donation. The donation amount was supposed to be, um, I want to say it was like $50, I'll have to look back in my, um, I have like a book that I write all that information down in, but whatever that amount is supposed to be, I might actually donate it to the organization that's hosting this. It's called the um, Movement for Black Lives and it is the Atlanta chapter. I will link their Instagram and information in the description. But um, it's a smaller organization that are doing things for the black community which I love. So they might be the organization that I submit that um, donation to. And besides that, nothing nothing else is really going on. Um, I went to my friend's house yesterday and we helped her clean out her closet. It was a long process, but it was a lot of fun. And I enjoyed getting to spend time with a few of my friends. I haven't seen them in too long. Let's just say that. So yeah, I'm gonna coffee it up and get to work. And um, I'll check in later. I just announced my first giveaway. I can't believe it. I don't even understand fully like how this even happened. Um, I know it's, it's, it's pitiful, right? Like it's only a thousand people, but hey man, I've reached a thousand people. That's crazy. And a thousand people like my art enough to actually hit the button, which you think People would do a little bit more frivolously, but I don't get the sense that the type of people who would follow me are frivolous with their follows. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I'm over analyzing. Um, so yeah, just announced the giveaway. Basically, I've reached a thousand followers on Instagram. It's taking me four years. <laughs> Since I started my Instagram to hit a thousand followers, it's a big deal for me. Um, I'll be doing a YouTube version of it when I finally hit um, 500, <laughs> which again, I know is pitiful, but that's a big deal for me. I don't know. Anyway, so I have a lot of goodies that I'm giving away. Both of my sticker packs, um, the Queenie sticker, a pr print, the Adelina print, this one original illustration and a pair of earrings of course of course i have to include the earrings the giveaway closes on october 29th at 11:59 p.m and i'll be announcing on halloween in a youtube video as well as an instagram post so yeah i'm very excited i know that it's it's really not that serious but like it is for me though. Okay, so that's what I've been doing all day. I've been cleaning my studio first of all. I'm kind of like getting things a little bit more organized. And then I just finished doing the Instagram post, which took me a bit to do. So um, yeah, 
Now I'm about to take a lunch break <laughs> because I did this way longer than I expected to be taking on it. And then I'll come back and do the sanding of the earrings. Then we're gonna take photos for my shop and then I'll work on finishing the backs. <sighs> it's a good day, man. Actually, I need to finish putting together the giveaway package because I wanna just have it ready to go and um, I'll just print out the label, stick it on there get it out of here but um I'll do that then I'll go eat the earrings okay I might be able to finish the earrings tonight actually it's just ignore me okay I'll check in when there's something to check in with now later on in testimony it gets a little confusing it appears you might have been stabbed first and then shot so, other things to kind of point out why it might be borderline personality disorder diagnosis. I didn't get to. She, in interviews, references all this exculpatory evidence, right? So, evidence that would have. But it's not really clear from what we see in the reports. The third symptom criterion feeling special, high status. Some other kind of events that occurred in between these two dates some check fraud that was unrelated to this case and some other things but Yes. Wow. <laughs>